And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, um, well, basically, <clears throat> I'm not getting into the details. That's a whole nother video. But we're going to be setting up this three gallon aquarium for a Cory catfish. And don't even start. I know, obviously, there's cooling fish, they need to be held with others. Well, something happened that, um, at the moment, he can't be with others. And we'll get into that in, in another video. But uh, basically, he's alone right now. And I, I need to clean out the 10 gallon and get it ready for what's next. And uh, no, no, I, I won't get into it anymore. Um, we're going to be setting this up with just some sand substrate. Don't mind the mess in the back. Uh, a little pineapple my brother got me for Christmas from Spongebob. A little log, a hole in it, that's where the um, air stone will go. It's right in there. Obviously some tubing part to the pump. Here's the lid to the pump. Where's the pump? I'll get back to you when I find the pump. Um, but basically, we're mainly just going to take this sand and just, and this doesn't need to be cycled. Um, I asked my friend even, because I mean, he's really good with this stuff, but I asked a friend if he it needs to be cycled. He said, as long as I'm using the same water from that 10 gallon, then it should be fine. So I'm just going to use that water, but uh, let's get the sand in place. And obviously I'm not going to mold it right now. Um, when water gets added, it'll kind of mold itself. And the Corey will push it around, mold it himself. So um, that's that. Next, actually, next I'm going to do the filter. So I'll be right back when I find that. And we're back. All right. So I found the filter. Just uh, was left by the sink when I was rinsing it off. And I'll... Um, I think it's like a whisper one to three gallon um, filter. Uses these small cartridges right here. It is, yep, right there. I don't know if you can see that one to three gallon small. And now, oh, I also grabbed the heater just so it could have heat, obviously. Um, now, and put this together and now we're ready to set up so my air stone is right here it's got a really long tube and this has to be taken off air stone and we're actually going to take our tubing right here. I'm going to take this, I'm going to just thread it through, just like that, and then plug our air stone back in, and oh bam, it can't come out here, this will be on the bottom, so we'll have little air bubbles come out. Actually, no. Well, now yeah, we can just start looking um, Right about there. Let's see what that 
I don't think I'm gonna have the lid on because otherwise this heater won't fit in anywhere. Unfortunately. But I haven't I'm getting a new heater tomorrow, so that you don't need to worry about that. I just realized. More than this, so, so. Please. <laughs> yeah, just ignore this mess right here. There. Now I'm out of, out of sight, out of mind. Um, so, SpongeBob House. It's just gonna go right here, I'm thinking. Just so the Cory can slide up in there, have a little shelter. And that is looking magnificent. And one thing I never did to this filter was the touches too. Jeez, I gotta get on top of things here. Um, oof, where did I put the two? I'm leaving everything today, guys. I'll be right back when I find that too. Found it. If you hadn't noticed, it's right there. I put it right there. Just gonna take it. Put it right on this nub. And then push it right in place right there. It's looking good. Boom. Basically done. As I said, I'm not going to have a lid on. I'm just doing this for organization purposes. And that is all hooked up. So, now, let's see. Now is water time. So I'll get back to you when that water is filled up. Then we'll put the cori in. And boom. Montage. Let's go. Let's go. 